Sarah Toppin is the average college student. She attends her classes, does her homework, and spends time with family and friends. Unfortunately, the average college student suffers incredibly from a lack of affordable housing, and Sarah is no different. I'm in my third semester at Seneca College. Um, instead of commuting, I chose to live on campus. Basically, the houses around campus are really pricey, so you don't get a lot for what you're paying for. Decent places are either really expensive, so most of us have to settle Wasn't for smaller the most spaces. Set. Sarah is not alone. Many college and university students are facing the exact same problem. Affordable housing is one of the biggest issues across Canada right now. Each government is aware of the issue and have offered to improve the situation. Thomas Mulcair of the NDP plans to build 10,000 affordable housing units as well as maintain the current social housing. Justin Trudeau's 10-year investment of nearly $20 billion will go towards building homes and refurbishing existing ones if the Liberals win. Stephen Harper and the Conservatives plan to continue with tax-free savings accounts to lower mortgages and interest payments, along with a permanent home renovation tax credit between $1,000 to $5,000. And Elizabeth May of the Green Party plans to fund co-op housing. They also plan to refurbish homes by 2020 to make them more energy efficient to cut heating and electricity bills. Between classes and homework, it's hard to find time to work to pay for my rent. All of the proposed solutions would make life easier for students like Sarah. College students are under enough pressure as it is. Better living conditions and more affordable housing would definitely ease the pressure. Jason Al-Jahari, Say News, Toronto.